Yo. 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 Any minute now, we're going to be live. I know it. I know it's going to happen. It happened. We're here. Oh, shit. Hello. How's everybody doing? Nice and fucking noise. That means all you guys are a little late. It's all right. It's not, you guys <laughs> might be fucking over. Who cares? Shit. If you guys can't tell, it's Soup Man. I'm at a fucking party. I had to find a little corner of the room to do this show, but I'm, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Welcome to Give Love Laugh Six. We've got your Puerto Rican Santa Claus here. I've got on my red suit, <laughs> <laughs> my green Christmas tie, and a white shirt. No, I'm just joking. Um, we're doing a show called Give Love Laugh. And I got to tell everybody why we do it, how we do it, what it's about. So what Give Love Laugh is, is we want you to give some of your love since we're making you laugh, right? And the money we want you to give to is going to Mary's Place. It's a shelter in Seattle. It's a homeless shelter that specializes in helping women, especially those with children. And I know so much about Mary's Place because when I was a child, my mother was homeless. Dun, 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 dun. Right? So... I actually have experience with the program. And when my mom passed away, they even threw her a little funeral because they knew who she was. So now it's my turn to give back. So everybody go, hey! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 I need Jane Jira here to do my sound effects. Usually I get a little, whoop! She got the whole crowd there. Not getting that out of you fuckers today. They're like, that is sad. I don't know why he wants us to be happy about it, right? But anyway, <laughs> how y'all doing? It's been a weird holiday. Like uh, for me, it, everybody says it's Christmas time, and for me, it's post Sagittarius Day because I'm a Sagittarius. You know what I'm talking about? Like, fuck you guys. <laughs> like I remember one year I decided to treat everybody like me. Like my buddy came up to me in May and he was like, "What'd you get me for my birthday?" And I say, like, "Well, I'm gonna get you something nice for Christmas." Oh, you guys didn't get that joke? Okay. No December <laughs> birthdays in here but me. I'm the only one who's bitter. Fuck you guys. Again. Right? Yeah, this, this is going to go. You guys all had like fun and great fucking childhoods and good friends. Go to hell. Shit. <laughs> I tell you another joke. Anybody in here ever been uh, homeless? No, just me? All right. Well, anyway, I remember growing up, we got our first place and we had a microwave, right? And everybody was like, ooh, you got a microwave. You're over here bragging and shit. And I was like, hold on, stop. Y'all don't understand. My microwave's got roaches in it. Duh. And you oh. guys know Duh. when you try to nuke a, a roach, do you know what happens to a roach if you hit it with a nuclear bomb? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no winter chicken dinner. I don't know who said that, but you're right. Nothing. So what ends up happening is you're sitting there and you're looking at the screen and you're going, five, get off my mashed potatoes. Four, get out the gravy. Three, never mind. I'm not that fucking hungry anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And then people like, I remember people were like, you're cheap. And I'm like, I'm not cheap. I'm just not sure when I'm going to have to, you know, fucking buy a new place again. Like, yeah, if not, never mind. That's too dark. But anyways, uh. all my shit I got about this stuff is dark and morbid. And everybody's like, we're supposed to raise money. Yeah, I'm trying to make you feel bad so you can fucking pay for a kid to get help instead of growing up broken <laughs> like me, right? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have the Sarah McLaughlin commercial when I was a kid, you know what I mean? With the little fucking dog. Nobody wanted to pay 40 cents then. Fuck you guys. Shit. Anyway, seems like we're having a good time. The ladies have woke up. They're at least laughing. That's a good start. I mean, fuck, who cares if I'm funny? As long as these ladies are funny, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. Yeah. I also thought it was funny. I decided to do a donation show for a woman's shelter and no men signed up. <laughs> That's too soon too soon okay All right. maybe them bitches wouldn't be homeless if the men had signed up earlier no i'm sorry damn it Fuck. Fuck. shit i'm going to hell That's that was bad that was bad I, i'm a i'm a ceo a child of a homeless woman i can do that joke <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, never mind. 
I see JD's white privilege kicking in. She's like, I don't like I'm this. brown. Black guys. <laughs> I don't don't get sensitive. You're white passing. <laughs> I can't tell. Maybe it's just the light in the car. Shit. I don't know. Anyways, we'll get the show. Tiffany's like, ooh, I can do that. Oh, shit. Shit. I can call everything from every Mexican to Samoan. I can miss culture everybody. It happens to me every day. Fuck you guys. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. He's like, I, he's all over the place. Tim, some of these people have never worked with me. They've just been on my woman shows. They're like, I didn't know this fucker was this crazy. Yes, I am. Anyways, let's get this show started. Make some noise. Hey. First up, she's part of the problem. She's a pilgrim. We, us natives would still have our land if it wasn't for this city name. She's from Pilgrim, Kentucky. <laughs> Makes me feel like on Thanksgiving it's a fucked up scenario. <laughs> you know, like, be there for the live action parade in Pilgrim, Kentucky. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even have any Indians left for the other side. Of oh, sorry. Never mind. I I digress. I'm having fun here. I'm gonna go do some dabs. Up next, who we got? Oh uh, shit! Yep. I know. I'm trying to remove the spotlight. I don't have my goddamn my mouse. If I'd have had my mouse today, everything would have been. <laughs> oh. yeah, Me? Say something. Everybody's watching you. Say something. Me? Oh. Well, uh, oh. thanks for having me. And it's for a good cause, everybody. I usually, yeah. when they hear that I'm from Pilgrim, Kentucky, I usually get the John Wayne joke, Pilgrim type <laughs> thing. And I'm just like, okay, we can go there if you want to. But so uh, <laughs> we've, I've been on Zoom for about a year now. I know most of you guys, but a little about me. I am from the South, yeah. got a twang. And I'm a bit of an artist. I share a lot of it on Facebook. Woo. Woo -woo. And uh, so, I'm, and I live extremely rural in the South. So keep that in mind. Uh, so imagine my surprise when I get an email from the local hospital saying, we want to have an art show with local talent. And I was so excited, y'all. I was like, oh, hello me. So I sent some photos of my favorite pieces. And they replied back, oh, we would love to proudly display artists' work in the emergency room in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, on basement, it had an asterisk, and it said, definitely not haunted. Uh, nice. <laughs> definitely not haunted. And I thought... Okay, well, I'll send in my sunflower painting um, so they'll have it ready for me the next time I come. Not if I come back, but when I come back. This time last year, <laughs> that's where I was, the emergency room. My right kidney flares up every now and then. Well, both of them do. Um, I wish I could say I don't know her when it comes to kidney stones, but unfortunately, we go way back. And uh, my right kidney just thought, get in, losers. We're going hurting. Yeah. And the left kidney didn't want to cooperate. It was being rather angelic. And so I didn't know that I was going to be in a play that night, y'all. Kidney Stone 3, the unauthorized <laughs> off, off, off Broadway musical. <laughs> And I met a bit of a mystical figure that night. The one and only overly concerned ER physician ever. They barely got me hooked up to fluids and pain relief before he busts in the room saying, appendicitis <gasps> with the jazz hands, <laughs> with the jazz hands. And I am scared to think of what he would do in a craft section. Like, if he had access to glitter when he did that. <laughs> mm, like, like mm, it scares me to think about that. 
but he said, if your CT scan comes back weird, emergency surgery in five minutes. Scan comes back fine, and I made some kind of noise like, heh. So he's like a bad car salesman. He revises his approach. He's like, okay, okay. How about we drop that and we add kidney stent? And as we talk my way on out of there before they get to cutting, because I'd already passed the stone while I was waiting forever, ever. So I sweet talked my way on out of there. And you better believe that my best friend from college met me out the door in the parking lot with a cold can of Pepsi, <laughs> which I smashed, literally smashed, and then smashed it on the forehead. Thug life. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we think of true crime as a genre Woo! really oh uh, it kind of mm. bums me out y'all <laughs> bumming hard true. Uh, i'm a behavioral health specialist and i have a bachelor's in social sciences so i studied all of the ologies ever ever and uh was exposed to quite a bit of true crime just know y'all that my life is very quiet and happy never hearing this phrase ever again they were only identified by the bite marks on their face yeah. <laughs> my uh. life is just it's just very happy no longer hearing that just <laughs> <laughs> just please believe it <laughs> if you will <laughs> Do you guys talk in your sleep? Anybody? So. Yeah. I've had several friends confirm it to me. And I, I even wake myself up here talking. And if I'm lucid, I'll try to write it down. But recently, I've been saying things like, if I could get paid in Funyuns, that would be great. <laughs> and that would be great because I love Funyuns. We all love Funyuns, yeah. And then to go along with the true crime crap, the dog denies any wrongdoing. I don't even have a dog. What? Don't fall asleep watching that stuff. <laughs> I have two really good conversation enders for y'all I'd like to share with y'all. And uh, feel free to, to borrow from it or expand upon it. One of them is to my least favorite question in the entire world. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> and it's always like that. It's always like that. That's always the face that they make when they ask that question. Anyone mm. comes at me like that. It's my least favorite question in the entire world. So I've got some conversation <laughs> enders and they'll never ask me that ever again. The first one is, oh, I'm a medical illustrator for the show Monsters Inside Me. Woo! <laughs> Which I'll know about that show, huh? Just be grateful you ain't on it. <laughs> if you like gratitude in this season, be grateful you ain't on that show. But it... It's similar to another show from National Geographic, although I think they're going to want to talk to me. But the title of that show is called Something Bit Me. Yeah. So, but I feel like they're going, to, they're going to want to talk to me because, <laughs> not break or nothing, but uh, your girl here was bit by not one, but two different lizards last summer. So, uh, call me National Geographic. We'll talk it up. <laughs> <laughs> and I can answer some questions right away. No, I didn't bite back. No, it didn't break the skin. And when it latched on my finger, it felt a little gummy. Like, toothless. Very harmless. And then the other one is, I've yet to try out in person, but I'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. Hmm. I'm going to go 
to the question. We do want your love. I will say, I'm gonna go Eartha Kitt. And I will say, I'm a cat lady. And if you'll excuse me now, it's time for my bath. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's her way to say I'm done. I gave her the light. She's like, I'm going to start licking myself. This is back on the show, you know? She's like, we'll pay you later. That's not the one we do for Mary's place. That's the one we should go for Strippers Anonymous. That's what we do that show on. Again, for any of you guys watching home, uh, we're doing a donation show today. Uh, we want you to go to Mary's Place, figure out how to donate. Mary's Place is a, a wonderful organization in Seattle, Washington, that helps by sponsoring and making sure that women who are homeless, especially those with children, have somewhere to go and have a place to stay and get a hot meal. Um, me, myself, though, I'm at the Dad Rose Function in, C in Everett, Washington. So if you're uh, in Seattle, come out to Everett, Tony T's Garage, and have a little good time, if you know what I mean. But anyways... Y'all ready for the next comic? Make some noise. Dude, I'm ready. I don't know if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> I got a new joint. There's a whole bunch of shit going on around here. I'm just trying to find a lighter. Fuck. No, <laughs> no ladies, like, this is bullshit. I could be hot, hot box in my car right now. Anyways, all the way from Oxnard, California. Give it up for Jimmy B. Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I receive that. I receive that. Um, Tiff, I know you don't like true crime, but listen, listen. I consider it very important because it's taught me something very important. Okay. That along with my dating record has taught me no more men. Okay, no more men. Listen, most <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. You've watched enough true crime, okay? It's always the men, okay? Or at least there's a man involved. Like nine out of 10 times. Like they're like, oh, look, a woman. I'm like, you pointed out the only episode with a woman in the entire like series, okay? 99.9% .9 of the time, it is a penis. There is a penis involved. So what I have learned is no more men. Fuck the men, we're done. <laughs> like don't actually fuck them stop procreating like let's just end humanity it's time for the trees to take over yes. humans tried yes. we failed <laughs> and now we like cut down like savages these poor little christmas trees really we just need to give the world back to the trees and say fuck it we're done we're not going to do it anymore you know like this is the final season i'm very sorry we apologize <laughs> The writers really just fucked it up this last season. So we're just done. We're just going to X the stage, right? Um, but, you know, since I'm done with men now, uh, I thought we'd take a look at some of the highlights as to why. Um, so in my dating experience, um, I have received over 240 dick pics on dating apps. I know that because I would save them and send them to the next guy who would send me a dick pic. Oh yeah, you send me a dick pic. Need a dick pic? Take a dick pic. Give me a dick pic. I'm keeping it and I'm giving it to other men. Who send me their dick pics. Listen. It's the cycle of life over here and I am going to miss that, but you know... 240 dick pics is, and none of them were solicited. Not once did I say, may I please see a dick? I will tell you, a few men were very polite and said, may I please send you a picture of my dick? And I said, no. And then they politely still sent it because fuck. <laughs> fuck my voice, right? I'm just a woman. <laughs> it's not like I have voice or say over my body or anything. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this is what body part you need in order to have say in this conversation. Mm -hmm. And then you block them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then there was the young kid. And I was like, this 
he was like 19 and he messaged me and he was, I was like, oh, you know, um, no, but I just wanted to encourage you, you know, thank you so much for reaching out. And I really appreciate it. And you're going to find someone I was trying to encourage him. What I should have done is said, you're too young. Get the fuck off this, this stupid thing. Cause what he said, okay. He treated me like a geriatric. He was a little too thirsty. He goes, I was just trying to give MILF the young, strong cock it thirsts for when it's dry. Okay, first off, I don't thirst wow. for your cock. No, no. Off, who are you calling dry? And third off, thank you for calling me a MILF. <laughs> <laughs> All I heard is like to fuck. Okay. <clears throat> now get the fuck off my dating app. <laughs> Young whippersnapper. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's past my bedtime and probably yours. My God. Absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> and then, okay, listen. Okay. So one time my meds were delivered to my ex. This is back in Sherman Oaks. I had moved out of my ex as he lived in Van Nuys. So I moved over to Sherman Oaks. He tried to claim Sherman Oaks. And I'm like, no, you're in the poor part. You're, you're from Van Nuys. Stop, stop pretending. <laughs> I know because I lived in the bougie part and that meant four people in an apartment, 30 minutes of AC a day when it was 110 degrees out, okay? That's no. how you knew it was the bougie part. You couldn't afford AC. <clears throat> If you can afford AC with less than four people, you're in the poor part. That's how that works. <laughs> That's how that works in California, okay? Um, but no, like this guy, he delivered my meds and I was like, hey, thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. And you were kind of cute. And he was like, you were kind of fat. And then I was like, well, whatever. Well, okay. So a few weeks ago, I'm not even kidding. This fool like texts me out of nowhere and goes, hey, it's been a year. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? And he's like, do you not remember me? No. He's like, I, I stopped by your apartment. I'm like, that's kind of creepy. Yeah. yeah. Which one? <laughs> I've lived places. And he's like, the one in Sherman Oaks. Do you not remember me from the med drop off? sure and he's like i just wanted to see wow. if you've lost weight yet oh what oh my God. so i sent him one of the dick pics because i felt it was warranted um <laughs> thank you <laughs> listen there's a reason i keep those okay if you send me a dick pic i'm gonna make use of that thing <clears throat> just saying it was a baby carrot but still <laughs> <laughs> like a baby care size, but like, you know, like this. some of these men are a little too proud, by the way. I'm like, listen, like if you hold that up to a baby care, you would understand why you should not be proud, sir. Like <laughs> there's a lot of pride in sending that. Like I appreciate that level of confidence. I want the confidence of a man who sends his dick pic knowing his dick is smaller than a baby carrot. Like that is some damn confidence. That you give a woman <laughs> that kind of confidence, she's gonna take over the fucking world. Okay, I'm just saying. God damn. And then you know, I'm also not going to miss uh, the ex who chose to. Uh, so he had jock itch, and so <laughs> this one time he did. He was like, "Oh, I know you're in the mood. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something special for you, baby." So he goes and he prepares himself by way of taking. I kid you not, the finest athlete's foot powder Walmart could, could carry and powders it into the underball and goes, baby, I'm ready just for you. Oh, I'm like, no. I'm just done with men, okay? Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, my God. Mm. Juliana's got it right, I'm sorry. Men are disgusting. Men are so gross. I'm just so over men. <sighs> and then, and then I think the worst of all happened tonight. Okay. I had to pee. So I go to Starbucks as a bee does. 
Like, like when you gotta pee, you go to Starbucks, right? And I'm coming out, and this guy goes, "Does your back hurt? Does your mouth hurt? Jeez, like what? Why are you coming up at me?" And he's like, "I just wanted to pray over you." Oh, please don't be like Jesus. I got Jesus in the Starbucks, y'all. I got <laughs> Starbucks in the safe space. <laughs> then he violently hands me this thing that says, Jesus loves you. Repent today. And I just wanted to be like, I'm queer. I'm so sorry. I'm already going to burn. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. You better hurry. I'm contagious. It's going to rub off on you. Like, Jesus, get out of here. Like, I'm going to Jesus at you. Are we for real? <laughs> this is another reason. And of course, it was a man. I'm just going to end with this, okay? I think the only man that is allowed in my life anymore is the murder spider that was in my bathroom earlier today. Because he handles his, his job, okay? Like, I had a job for him, so I kept him alive. Instead of killing him off, which I could have, I took him into my room, and I was like, listen, I need you to kill these fruit flies for me. And he was like, I know what to do. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I love you so much that I'm going to name you after my beloved dildo, Steve. And he said, thank you. And he handled business. So he's the only man in my life that's allowed in my fucking life. Thank you, I'm JD. Greetings, <laughs> everybody. It's Charlotte's web to a whole new thing. You know what I mean? Like, well, spider knock those spider webs out has a total meaning now. Oh shit! Sorry, sorry, I digress. I'm a fervor. This is why I don't watch porn. You know, I don't. I'm just not into it. You know what I mean? But again, if you're watching now. We want you to go to Mary's Place in Seattle. Check them out. They're an organization that helps women who are homeless with children. I was a homeless child living with his mom in that shelter as a kid. So I've got an affinity for them. We're partying in Seattle at a bud event. But we're still here. I'm still complicated, right? <laughs> sure. Maybe I'm just for attention, right? I think that's it. Anyway, <laughs> our next comic. Coming out of Nebraska, Omaha to be exact. Give it up for Sherry. Ooh. It's so funny. <laughs> that name. Okay. All right. Now, I had a resentment towards my grandma at the age of three when she started calling me Sherry. Now, <laughs> God didn't let that happen with me and Dante. No, I'm not going to do that because see, my name is really Sheree. But nobody gets it right. I mean, I've called re tree. I'm like, no, no dogs <laughs> on my leg. No, I'm not a tree. You know, Sherry, cherry. I mean, there was times in school when somebody would call me that a different name and I just sit there, Sherry Prior. I'm like, don't know her. No, no, I've got a lot of personalities, but one of them is not called Sherry Prior. No, <laughs> not that. <laughs> So I go by Miss Sassy Neighbor without the eye. Never been married. Always been sassy. Always been somebody's freaking neighbor. Probably since birth at the age of incubator. You're somebody's neighbor somehow. Some neighbors <laughs> like you. Some others don't, right? And you just don't want to uh, know all your neighbors as you get older. It's like... <laughs> No, 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 that's okay. But when you're younger, you want to know everybody. When I used to drink, I want to know all my alcoholic neighbors, all my <laughs> neighbors that <they> smoke. <laughs> I, you know, I knew where they were skiing indoors. I knew where they were smoking their weed. I knew exactly where the beer was. I even got caught stealing the beer out of a guy's uh, drive out of his garage. I'm like, oh, sorry. Uh, what what is that personality <laughs> doing out like that? Get get back in the house, young lady. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. My kids hated uh well, they didn't hate her. They just Lacey. Lacey was a lot of problems in my life. You know, people ask you, how many personalities you got? I go, enough. Enough. <laughs> Did they have names? Yeah. Some. Some have <laughs> ages. Some are just I don't know where they came from. You know what I mean? It's like and now I understand about homelessness. I'm so grateful to be here with you with that going on because I was homeless myself. I lived on the streets. I used to sleep in people's cars after the bar 
And you know, during that time in the eighties, you can sleep in people's cars, but now the alarms go off and there are no way you're going to get anybody's car in the year 2022. It gets, it gets harder to be homeless in this day of age. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then when I cook dinner and I start fa things fall on the floor and somebody will look at me when I put it back in the pan and I'm like, dude, have you not been homeless in your life? You've never eaten out of a dumpster. You don't know that this stuff gets cooked out of the food. You'll be mm -hmm. all right. It'll be no problem. Right? That's the way I see it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a mother. I'm a mother. I could use that in different reference, but really I do have two children and um uh, they had fathers i'm sure you're aware of that right that <laughs> yeah i'm from my mother i live in nebraska but i'm from my mother so we all have <laughs> something in common <laughs> no matter what this craziness of mine you have something in common with me people are like oh i'd like to be in your shoes now try being in my brain for just a second or 20 seconds you know <laughs> i got a squirrel cage up there it's scary watch <laughs> oh. This will take up some minutes. <laughs> yeah. Watch this part. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. This hat goes long. Ah, <laughs> uh, I hope that makes everybody's day because it makes my day all the time. I just. <laughs> I, I went to the store and I found this and then it didn't work anymore. I was going down the aisles. I was really sad. I was like, I hope this will work. It's a store that some things work and some things don't kind of like your vibrator. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. Yeah, I love my vibrator. Actually, my daughter thought I was screwing around on her father from running out of the bathroom. All right, mom, who are you doing? She's got all these condoms. What are you talking about? I'm not doing anybody except my vibrator. So she's like, well, then why you got all these condoms? I said, because I put them on my vibrator. You don't know what vibrators are made out of. And you're putting that in your vagina. It's kind of like, you know, you get a new dick in your life. You got to put something on it. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful. So then we're thinking about it. And we're like, wait, where are condoms from? Oh, they're from China, too. Mm -hmm. So I had China in my vagina and I haven't even left Nebraska yet. I mean, this is just amazing to me what happens, you know, things like this. You try to avoid things and then things like this happen to you. Yeah, scary, scary. So I've been talking since birth, natural. Uh -huh. They to shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what they did. I just don't like my name being called Sherry. Nothing against you, Dante. I will not hold it against you. Remember, the resentment started with my grandmother and ends with you. So I'm a woman that is addicted to almost everything. And here in Nebraska is garage sales. I love garage sales. There is not a 12-step program for garage sales. Can you imagine going on a Thursday to Garage Sale Anonymous and then thinking that <laughs> To a garage sale after that when there's like eight garage sale signs in every corner it's worse than a liquor store it really is really it was easier for me to quit drinking alcohol than it was to stop going garage sales because i haven't stopped going to garage sales i did quit drinking alcohol but i cannot stop going to garage sales i used to have people put things on layaway at garage sales i was so good i had a guy took his couch and put it on layaway in the in his garage and then I got the couch, got it at my house, and he wanted to come sleep on it. Oh, no, not happening. That's why I bought your couch. Yeah. <laughs> not to have a man on my couch. No, not happening. I am so grateful in my life today because the only one that allowed in my apartment, and I used to sleep with roaches too. Yeah, not, not just talking men. I took real roaches. I used to sleep with them too. Not today. Uh -huh. I don't have that problem. Uh -huh. 
and all I have to have in my house is my vibrator and my pussy. It, my pussy's name's Elliot, Mr. Elliot. No, I'm not talking about my pussy. Well, I mean, he was my, no, it was somebody else's pussy, and then she asked me to watch that pussy, so I decided to watch it for a while, and now that pussy's been mine for like four years. He is the king of my house. <laughs> well, and my vibrator is the king of my house. Oh, we're not <laughs> going to talk about my vibrators? Well, let me tell you something about them vibrators, okay? Do not put rechargeable batteries in them, unless or not. Don't do it, okay? Uh-huh. Because they just continue and i thought it was my vagina smoking no it was the bullets that i had inside my vagina that were smoking <laughs> because you don't put rechargeable batteries in vibrators but now i get to plug them in oh no i'm frozen did you see that that was scary look don't like being frozen on that see um when you're doing live comedy you don't get frozen on stage well you might but anyways about those vibrators don't do that and i even had a rock and rabbit I love vibrators. I love talking about them. If I knew about vibrators when I was 16, I wouldn't have lost my virginity and I wouldn't have been with so many dicks in my life. Do you understand me? (laughs) In a woman's life. And I also found out, think about it. They don't have balls, vibrators. Isn't that great? I don't have to worry about them things getting in the way or anything like that. Just got a freaking vibrator that was just go, go, go. Until it can't go anymore. <laughs> That's kind of like me. You ever been on them web chaps? Chats? I said chaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, them webcam girls? I swear I watched some of them women. And I thought they were going to die from having orgasms. I thought I was going to die from having orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was free. So I checked it out. You know, I'm, I'm 60 now. I can check whatever the hell I want out, right? I can do mm-hmm. whatever actually i could have done that at 16 but i wasn't brought up that way oh. don't ever let a man tell you what to wear either don't let a man tell you what to do period okay so you're homeless right now you can still have a home i am giving you the hope and faith and love that you need to know that you can have a sloth like that with lights on it from the dollar store you can look rich and be poor as shit it's okay don't worry about it it isn't about money it's not about hand jobs either (laughs) i ain't doing nothing with this life man as a matter of fact i'm really scared somebody's gonna have to come over here and get me out of this ship because i don't know if i can get it back out i just wore it for the show (laughs) but nice or something like that no naughty but not nice i don't know something like that here we go I'm almost done. I haven't seen the light yet because Dante's frozen. No, oh. it's because Dante already played it and you weren't paying attention. That's why, <laughs> motherfucker. I gave you the light, trust me. And I wasn't oh. frozen. I was frozen, <laughs> waiting my turn. I'm sitting there smoking a joint. And if Not you're homeless, you can smoke a joint too. Great part about Seattle is if you're homeless, you can shoot up for free. They'll give you needles. <laughs> <laughs> they won't help you with your homeless situation, but if you need some free needles, we got you. <laughs> that's, not, that's not even a joke. That's the fucking truth. Fra- plastic straws are out. They don't help the homeless, but if you want to shoot up, we'll give you free needles. Anyways, I digress. Uh-huh. Up next, all away from Kuala Lumpur, 16 hours ahead. Asia, the funniest non-binary Asia, give it up for Julie Yana. Hi, everyone. Hello. I I am Julie. Yes. And I have autism. Yes. So, but the thing is, I kind of think that because live comedy has come back, so I started my masking again, and that's how I come late for this show, <laughs> because I become, I'm eventually evolving to be a normie. <laughs> All right. So, I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So, if you haven't been to Kuala Lumpur before, you did not miss much. Yeah. 
<laughs> we are just the Asian version of Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I mentioned earlier on, I have autism. So, every time when I say that I have autism, there will always be a silence that follows. Uh, in short, people actually become mute when they see me. <laughs> so, I like to use that to my advantage. When someone talks too much to me, I have <laughs> When the creep asks for my phone number, I have autism. <laughs> when I'm at the police roadblock, I have an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> 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 so I know that I sounded like an AI robot, but don't worry. I make a good living voicing your ways and Google Maps. Fuck <laughs> 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 <But> off. <laughs> so I got my autism diagnosis late at 29 years old. My doctor can't believe I'm autistic because I look so good. <laughs> So my doctor asked me, which is my comedy video on YouTube. After watching the video, she said, Juliana, you are super autistic. You're super <laughs> autistic. You are off the spectrum. <laughs> Nowadays, when I'm doing comedy, I'm always on the lookout for my doctor. Because I would love to diagnose all the comedians you see tonight. <laughs> <laughs> This one is autistic. This one is ADHD. And this one is asshole. <laughs> I will leave you all to decide who asshole is tonight. And if you are gay, you will love assholes. <laughs> also, one of the world's biggest asshole has brought over Twitter recently. <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. So because of autism, I'm a bit slow. When you all listen to jokes, you will laugh immediately. I will laugh a bit later. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> If you aren't laughing right now, don't worry. You are just like me. This reminds me of Donald Trump. When a reporter asked him a question, he only tweeted a reply at 3 a.m. Donald was saying that the COVID-19 is the Chinese bad flu. I may be Chinese, but don't worry. You won't get the COVID-19 from me through Zoom. <laughs> But because I'm autistic, you will get it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, uh, technically, everyone is on the spectrum. The only difference between my autism and your autism is, yours is like a YouTube artist. It's undiscovered. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That choking laughter. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. It's just a theory. And also, for me, it's like, whenever people talk to me, they all will assume, assume there's ableism in Malaysia as well. So they will assume that I don't know porn. So whenever they talk about it, they will start turning their face away. And I'm like, okay. How that? How do you assume that I don't know porn? So in porn, in porn hub, who are the who is the person who curated the two hundred sixty nine categories of porn? Obviously, <laughs> my people. Okay, yeah. So the thing is, um, there's many categories. There's hentai. There's cream pie. There's a Wu Tang Clan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so that one is classified under audio porn. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you will never you will never feel lonely because of Wu Tang Clan because you can just turn on Spotify anytime. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. 
So the thing is, uh, I am also uh, just like JD. I'm also I'm also queer. Yeah. So I'm actually <laughs> gender. I'm gender fluid, non-binary, which means sometimes I feel like a woman. Sometimes I feel like vodka. <laughs> 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 but, in Asia, but in Asia, people don't understand what is non-binary. They actually think that it's just another food category. Uh, non-halal, non-gluten. They think that non-binary is <laughs> food category. So I have to explain them like this is how non-binary happened. Okay, so it happens because uh, because my parents, you know, during my mom pregnant the time, my mom actually pray very hard for a boy. She hopes for a boy. And my dad prays for a second wife. And I am actually <laughs> the direct results of manifestation. <laughs> <laughs> so I can actually be my mom's son, but at the same time be my dad's second wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 well, thing is, um, I am also bisexual. I'm attracted to women and dogs. So uh, since we have no man here, uh, except Dante, except Dante, uh, Dante, don't worry, I'm not talking about you uh, because uh, dogs are better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of the funnest things to do is when you roll someone and someone is not there. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, with this haircut, a lot of people actually thought that I'm a monk. I was like, that is an understatement. Because mm-hmm. I am gay Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of the standard Amito for, mine is Amito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Buddhism is not a religion, it's the gay of life. <laughs> 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 and don't worry, all your problems will be gone tomorrow. <laughs> so from now on whenever you all see me on the street just say amito yes to me so i will know that you all come from my cult <laughs> she froze oh no oh. it froze in a good position it yeah. did. It's really <laughs> happy. Yeah. She... Hey, maybe that's how she mic drops. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah, sorry. Just... Gender fluid. They them. That so maybe that's how they. Maybe that's how they mic drop. I'm done. Bam. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Juliana does look very happy right now. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. If I was to be mm-hmm. frozen, that's how I'd like to be frozen. Yeah. 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 I'd like to be. Oh, bad. and. Boom. Oh, it's oh Juliana's back! Yay, Yay, you're back! <laughs> Malaysian government has actually intervened into it, has actually tapped into this chat because I'm talking about them. Let me wrap up with this uh, tall joke. Lah. So, okay. So, turns out that uh, we have been eavesdropped. That's why I got kicked out of Zoom. <laughs> 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 so, uh, <laughs> Star Love and Thunder have been banned in Malaysia because the Malaysian government thinks that after watching uh, Thor, Malaysians will turn gay. I was like, seriously? You people think that gayness can be taught? <laughs> like gay? <laughs> Either you have it or you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but doing that gayness can be taught, there will be many courses on master skill, master class, skill share, Udemy. Domestica, and I will be your Geru. <laughs> learning your gay BC. <laughs> and if you are interested in a social media optimization, I can teach you the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are interested in film making, I can teach, I mean, we are having a special collaboration with South Korea to actually uh, remake the zombie, but this time gay version of the show called All of Us Are Gay. (laughs) (laughs) And here are some books for your references. The first one is Think and Grow Gay. 
the second one is awaken the gay within. <laughs> also the classic, the classic, the gay masutra. <laughs> 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 and also, all right. And also, you have to. And also, to graduate, you have to practice your gayness for ten thousand hours. Yes. 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 So, what are you waiting for? Sign up for my master class today. Pay today, get it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, that's Julia. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. everybody. Adam Malay. Yeah, give it up for yeah. one more time. Woo. 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 I'm starting to get high over here. We got all kinds. We got weed drinks, blunts, edibles. It's a party. Uh-huh. I was like, oh my god, we're in Canada. That's not okay. That's that a boot. You know what I mean? She's probably had her morning joint. I saw her reading 1930, the 1930s cookbook, right? Yeah. And everybody's like, why is this shit so bland? And I was like, think about it. It's a segregated cookbook. <laughs> that white cookbook had to be more black people integrated, told them about seasoning and salt and pepper. I'm sorry, I couldn't help that. I was thinking about that. It's like, there's no black recipes in there. That's why that food sucks. Mm-hmm. Anyways, sorry, I couldn't help it. I couldn't. <laughs> Get up. Inconvenience. All around out of Toronto, if I remember correctly. Give it up for Kelly. Woo! Hey everyone! Woo! Oh gosh, I uh, I actually I don't partake in the in the in the pot smoking. I don't. Uh, I am. I've done nothing. I drink wine. That's it. That's Woo! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, but speaking of that, speaking of that, uh, given the holiday season, my family uh, we celebrate Christmas here in the Zemnikas household. Uh, we have an interesting holiday tradition centered around liquor. Uh, we like to do 9 a.m. vodka shots on Christmas Day. Nine, okay. 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. because friends, nothing nothing says Merry Christmas like where the hell am I? Um, it's great. It's, great. it's lovely. And if you're wondering, hey, Kelly, what if I'm at your house on Christmas Day, but I don't drink liquor, what do I do? Uh, you're doing vodka shots because no one cares here. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> it's just the way we roll. Uh, it's fun. It's good fun. Um, we, uh, we also have another uh, fun little tradition. Uh, we make the one vegetarian in our family carve. The turkey because <laughs> after 9 a.m vodka shots uh that shit's hilarious that is that's a fun thing to do um and i do have to say my sister-in-law is getting really good at the turkey she's really yeah. crushing it <laughs> she, she's a good sport she's a good sport about it uh but anyhow i um i will i will address the fact that i am well aware that i look like a woman who is running <laughs> a failing etsy store <laughs> i uh i am rocking some crafting energy i am <laughs> look at this tree i'm crafting Whoa. um yeah no i look like between comics i'm making i don't know tiny santa hat earrings you know i look like i'd be doing that between between sets but um yeah <laughs> one day i will one day i'm gonna make that threat real <laughs> I'm gonna have this. Yeah. i um i would consider uh, i would consider myself to be a good daughter uh, I see my mom and dad every single day, which is very nice, you know. Um, yeah, I live with them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, my uh, my parents are cool. They've been together uh, 55 years. They've been together for 55 years, these two. And, uh, you know, being together that long, they've developed some really cute little traditions. Uh, they have a nightly tradition that's just, I got to share, it's so sweet. Uh, mm-hmm. After dinner, 
um, they like to uh, take out their hearing aids. Um, it's adorable. <laughs> it signals uh, the portion of the day where they no longer give a shit about what the other person's saying. They just don't care. <laughs> just wonderful. And uh, it, uh, it turns every night into a contest of who can yell louder. Um, <laughs> You know, which makes me wonder, like, why not keep the hearing aids in? You clearly are still talking to each other. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strange. I don't understand. I do not understand. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I uh, should let everyone know I am uh, celebrating a fun little anniversary. Uh, I am a, uh, I am a recovering brunch hostess. <laughs> yeah, thank you <laughs> yeah it's been i'm nearing almost three years of being clean it's pretty good it's pretty good it's been all it's been almost three years now uh since i have asked anybody if they would like to see a menu um and i'm doing good yeah i'm doing good um it's funny i thought i thought i would be really really good at that job because i love talking to people and I love Sunday brunch. It's very popular here in Toronto. I love me a brunch. I do. Um, but apparently, I do not love people at Sunday brunch. I don't, uh, I don't like. I don't. Like it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. I was too. I was too salty for Sunday mornings. Uh, I really was. <laughs> I was a little too salty. I remember uh, once a customer asked me uh, what comes with the grilled cheese sandwich. And I said, a plate. So, uh, <laughs> wasn't the right answer. <laughs> the answer. No. Um, I, uh, I don't know if anyone else does this, but uh, I, I am someone who will frequently uh, clear the history of my computer's calculator. Um, I don't I do that a lot because... For, quite frankly, I don't need you to know what I could not figure out on my own. I don't need that <laughs> embarrassment. <laughs> no. And if you weren't aware, uh, your computer calculator, uh, it does track your stupidity. It does. What? You got you got to clear that browser, the calculator oh. browser. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. JD, get on it. It's, yeah, just no one needs to know. Um, it's a very weird thing. I um. I have a, I have a neurological disorder. What, what? <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. Fun. Yeah. I've got something called essential tremor, um, which really, is it essential? I have a tremor. <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is it really? Um, mind you, uh, be because it's essential, uh, it did have to keep working during the pandemic. So <laughs> Thanks, Tremor. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Uh, what I have is all the fun of Parkinson's without having Parkinson's. So my oh. Tremor presents itself when I'm like, you know, doing things like holding a glass or whatnot. So uh, that's what I've got. And um, when my neurologist uh, told me that I had it, he was like, don't worry, you're in good company. The actress Catherine Hepburn had it. Oh, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, good. I've always been such a fan of her tremor. Um, <laughs> oh, so, <no. laughs> bucket list check. <laughs> uh, so that's that's fun. I am um, I I am in a relationship, so I'm not on the dating apps. Uh, but I still look at the quirky ones just to see what's out there, so I can I can tell my friends who need to be. I uh, need to meet someone. And uh, there's this great one called Sea Captain Dates. S-E-A. Yeah. S-E-A. Sea Captain Dates. It's a thing. You can look it up. Um, and uh, it's great. Uh, apparently, uh, there are hundreds of sea captains online right now uh, looking for love. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Which, which I kind of find like a little disconcerting because uh, <laughs> should they not be manning the ship? Um, <laughs> there's, there's still a lot of shipping delays. Is it, mm -hmm. is it because some sea captain is looking for booty? 
Is that, <laughs> is that why I don't have my duvet? I don't know. Um, but uh, <laughs> it, got, it got me wondering, like, maybe, maybe that is how the Titanic actually crashed into that iceberg. Like, <laughs> Like maybe that captain was just like trying to do some Morse code for love, you know? Can, can you imagine sexting in that fashion? Like, like no. what are you what are you wearing? Stop. <laughs> Not wearing anything. Stop. <laughs> Don't stop. Stop. <laughs> it's too much. It'd be too confusing. Um, but <laughs> Yeah, no, it's great. The uh, the uh, tagline of Sea Captain Dates uh, is is quite cute. It says Sea Captain Dates find your first mate, which is very sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, I think they missed a goal mine by not going with Sea Captain Dates. <laughs> We're filled with semen. <laughs> 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 um, they uh, they they tout some fun. A uh, little benefit to that site. Uh, I, I don't think they're really fun, but the, the benefits during Sea Captain Days is apparently that you can look at profiles and pictures. I'm sorry, that's just how an app works, guys. It's not <laughs> the benefit of your app should not be that it is functioning. That's that's a shitty benefit. Mm -hmm. I think a better benefit would be like, I don't know, a good chowder recipe. That would be nice. Ooh. You know, right? Uh, but yeah, I have friends. Video. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe for shits and giggles, I'll join up because I don't feel like it would be a site that would like, you know, have me guys sending dick pics. I don't think we'd be doing that. I think it would be like guys sending deck pics, you know, just a good <laughs> solid wooden decks. Thanks, Dante. I've been Kelly. Mm -hmm. Kelly Zalafanakis. <laughs> yeah. uh, I always think that's always why I know how to remember her name. I remember Zach Galifianakis, <laughs> that jerk, but it, it's Zemanakis. It's I don't know what the fuck Whoa. it is. That's all right. It's funny. It's like they won't send you dick pics. They're gonna send you peg pics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. Did you ladies have a good time tonight? Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, did you Thades have a good did you Thades have a good night tonight Juliana I know I'm working on it it's crazy yeah. you know she said yeah <laughs> <laughs> all these things I talk to people about the the idea that not all comedy should be paid and somebody asked me why and I'm going to end on this note there are people we are trying to generate money for today that may not have laughed there are people today that we're trying to generate money for that may not laugh tomorrow there are people that we are trying to generate for money for, right? That may not laugh this week. And so sometimes we got to take time to do charity, start giving laughs, and maybe do that sidewalk show. Go to the homeless camp, take a speaker, and maybe do a show for them. I'm not being funny when I say that, but there's a lot of truth to that. These people aren't laughing, and they're surviving, and I've been one of them. The worst part is when you're a mother or a child and you're in this situation because there's a sense of safety that you don't have. So I appreciate you five ladies for giving your time. Hopefully people will see this and donate to Mary's place in Seattle. Check them out. Donate your time, donate your clothing, or donate your money. Any way you can help, we'd love it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming to Superman Productions. You guys have a great day. And you know what? I'm not going to say the G word, but have a happy holidays. Thank